Hello and welcome back to Wrath of the Righteous. So, in case you've forgotten where we are, we are in a magic dungeon, which we've been trapped in by clicking on something that we probably shouldn't have clicked on. And in this dungeon, we have realized that this is actually Rilu Vorlesh's old laboratory, which is very, very cool. So, what we're going to do this time is we're going to head out this way and we're going to head into what's called the Old Wing. Now, do we know what the Old Wing is? No, but I assume that the heart of the laboratory is the correct way to go. So, we're going to head this way because um, I want to get as much lore in this place as possible to figure out what exactly is going on. Because this is a very, very cool place. Right. Oh, yeah. Also, ignore the rats. They're ones that we killed, but they just happen to create a very odd line directly to that demon. Let us um, be off. Right. Oh, what's this? The sign says Old Wing. Oh, I thought it was in there, as in, like, past here, but it's actually on the top. Yeah, okay. Let's head through and see what's going on. Okay, so we know nothing about what's happening yet. No doors on either side. I'm going to do a quick save, and we're going to move. Still no doors. There we go, we got one up here. Let's move. Yeah, this is a bit creepy. Okay, now it's very creepy. So that is quite clearly like a body that's been like it's like a diagram of a body, but that is some kind of demon or angel? Interesting. I guess it's demon, given that she was saying she did experiments Follow on me. them first. Old mongrel. Oh. I maybe I should have brought Lan along. Um we'll speak to him in a second, I guess. Okay. So maybe this was how the mongrels were created? You look at the figure dressed in rags, and after some difficulty you recognize that it is an old mongrel. The exposed areas of skins uh, of skin are covered in horrific burns. Grotesque, twitching appendages that look like a cross between tentacles and umbilical cords are latched onto him. The mongrel gives a quiet groan. Uh, who's there? It's been so long since I heard another living voice. I can see the ambivalence of your deceitful soul confess what laws have you violated. Oh my lord, that, that's not the best way to start a conversation. How about who are you? I, I've been here so long, I don't remember my own name. I lived in the caves beneath Canabras, but I was drawn to the surface. So one day my friends and I decided to venture up there. Ah, okay, so he, it's not like a how mongrels were created situation. It's a... Oh, look there, it's a mongrel. Well, that looks a little bit demon-like. I wonder what it would, like, it would be like if I cut it open. It's that kind of situation for a Rilu. Anyway. I was the only one who made it all the way. But when I emerged, I was met by a pack of inquisitors. They thought I was a demon. Burn the demon. Death to the demons. Fire. All I can remember is fire. If you were put to death by inquisitors, and not by a baying mob, they would have read out the charges. I would be interested to hear what they were. My face was my crime. I did not have to commit any atrocities to be thrown on the fire. Did Arilu do this to you? Arilu? Ah, yes. I remember her. She took me from the pyre, what was left of me. She brought me here. She treated my wounds. She took my blood for her experiments or on mutations. But she went away, and I have not seen her here in a long time. I can see the ambivalence of your deceitful soul. Confess, what laws have you violated? The mongrel's lips move silently, but in his indistinct mumbling you can discern. Baphomet, veil my lie in truth. The old man laughs nervously. <laughs> what laws could I have violated? Could it be that I didn't burn to death on the pyre when I was supposed to? Hmm. Interesting. I think I'm going to leave him here for just now, but that is interesting. Mongrel's head drops weakly onto his chest. I don't think we need to do anything, but we can come Not back so. and potentially do things later. I just want to know, like, he might have more to tell us if we don't kill him, basically, is what I'm getting at. Alright, quick save. 
Let me just have a look at the size of this area. Yeah, so there's a massive bit down here, probably. Onwards. Oh, hello. Let's have some oh, hello. Fun. I didn't really mean to start combat, but that's fine. They're coming in to fight us. I guess we want to kill the Marauder first. Um, I don't think the Minotaur can actually reach us, which would be nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to shoot the Marauder. Well, that wasn't very good. Okay, that's better. Um, now the horse. I do want to get the horse in as far as possible here. Let's try that. Then I'm going to attack. That's fine. Uh, you're going to smite and then attack. Nice. That's some good damage. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, next move, probably just going to be shooting. Probably could have taken a step back as well before I did that to give me more room. All right. This should be a kill. I think. If we hit. Well, oh, interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a shadow demon in here <laughs> also. Uh, but why did they get an attack of opportunity on me? That's interesting. Um, did damage to Regil. All right, yeah, yeah. So there's reflex saving throw. Ah, it's the addition effect. Okay, so they've got the thing where you can get stuck to them. Okay, I see. Does, is this the one that also takes away the weapon? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I also need to turn this back on, I guess, because I reloaded the game between uh, actions. All right. Well, because I'm feeling a little bit worried about what's going to happen, I'm going to summon one of these in here. Oh, no, no, no. Don't cast lightning bolt this direction. That would be very bad. Okay. Uh, anyway, and then I'm going to end my turn. Oh. Hello. Well, it's good that we're on this side. Nice lightning bolt. That's actually kind of useful. Where's the shadow demon? It must be here, I think. Cast haste. Okay, I needed to cast these last turn. You're now going to stand in the way of this minotaur. Okay. Uh, he's alive. All right, Nenio. Haste is our option here, I think. Yeah. I think haste is our option, unless... Wait a second, does this only hit... What I'm wondering is, does, does this fake fireball only hit... Um, I suppose this one only hits e enemies, so we could do that. I'm just checking this normal one. I guess it would just act as a normal fireball. Yeah. I could try one of these controlled fireballs. Because it, when it says minimum damage, apparently it means zero damage. Hmm. That could be worth trying. It would give us a lot of damage. The thing I was thinking about haste, right? The reason I'm less into haste is that um, because when we hit them, we can potentially lose our weapon. Um, like more attacks doesn't make things better. So I might be better off just trying to do like a large amount of damage. I could also try and make our horse big. Now, making the horse big means that because the horse can't lose its weapons, it's a good thing to use against these demo dance. Either way, I think taking a step back makes sense, just to give us some more room. Hmm. Big horse has some benefits. Is big horse haste or fireball? Let's go for big horse. There we go. It also quite clearly cannot fit through the doors properly anymore, but that's okay. Right. I could also try and make um, you invisible as well. Let's do that, yeah. Just stop Nenio from being attacked. You're hitting my horse. Fair enough. I mean, it is a big target. Reg is about to fall. Oh, he has last stand. He can't fall. Well, at least that's a positive thing. Okay, um, definitely shoot this one. I will resist. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Horse, kill it. Nice. So I'm hoping that's given Reg his weapon back. I believe it has. Fantastic. Okay. Sila, do you have your weapon? 
Yes, you now have your weapon again. I think we have to just accept that we could be hit by the demo dams. Oh, she got screwed. Yeah, she got turned screwed. Okay. Oh. There we go. Let's try this again. Nope. Okay. This one? No there we go. Without risk. Right. Try again. I'll do some manual moving here. The inheritor. Guide my blade. All right. You know what? Turn's done. <laughs> I tried, okay? I tried to get her to do something. It didn't work. Uh, we could do some summons if we wanted to here. Um, I still don't know where the shadow demon is. I might try animate dead at the back here and just see if we can find it. Okay, that's fine. At least we summoned a lot, to be honest. That's pretty good. Take a step back. Now all of these guys get to hit the minotaur. Yeah, minotaur. One of them did actually manage to hit, which is good. Of course, it might have cleave and kill them all, but you know. Nice miss. Very nice miss. Very nice. All right, Reg. You might as well just attack. I mean, you can't die this turn. Oh, come on. Oh, big horse was a bad idea. Just take that extra step. No, nah, he can't. Okay, horse, horse being big has screwed us. Yeah, okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, Shadow Demon. Cast slow. Well, at least we can remove slow with haste. That's a positive. And it didn't apply to everybody. Good turn, actually. That was just seriously good damage. Yeah, you can't kill Wretch. Sorry. No matter how many times you try. I'm going to delay your turn till after the horse. Yeah, this makes sense. Darren? Now, we might want to heal this turn. As in... I want it to hit Reg. This... Get out of the way. I'm trying to see whether that, that will hit Reg. Okay. Cool. Trying to give him enough so he doesn't get instant popped uh, on the next turn. Haste. Right, I think horse needs to run at the shadow demon. Yeah. Just to give us space. Nice. You are gonna shoot the demo dant. Yeah. Nice. Good damage. Wait, did you not get hasted? Oh, you must have been slowed. I think I have to take the attack of opportunity here. There we go. Just to get some room so I can actually do things. Yeah. Are you kidding me? You still can't attack for some reason? It must be something to do with that adhesive thing then. It must just have screwed her. Oh, she doesn't have a weapon on? Maybe? Wait, no, she does Wait, yeah, I'm looking at Reg here. Reg looks like he doesn't have a weapon, but... Oh, I see what's happened here. Turn us back into turn base mode. Um, yeah. See, the weapon's not switching. Yeah, because the weapon's not switching, we got... Yeah, okay. It, it's basically just screwed us. Into the fray. Hmm. Okay, so it's a bug. Um, well, that's not ideal. I'm going to unpause and pause. And then I'm going to go for just a heal. Oh, it won't do any... You literally can't take any action with them, I see. Alright, end turn. This one's mine. Alright, you can't attack. Fair enough. I'm just going to walk you out. I mean, if you can't attack, then why am I... Like, why are you in there? Uh, that's fine. That's okay. Tried to cast confusion. Reg has gone insane. That's fine. He can't do anything. He can't take any actions. 
we won't falter. Nice. As oh my lord, she's dead. You know what? I'm gonna reload here. Because like I think we're done <laughs> on that fight. We got quite severely screwed by um, not being able to take actions with two of our highest damage dealers in melee. We we've learned something. Uh, we also learned that a Minotaur might come from the left, so we could potentially just walk along there and deal with it early. Yeah, there we go. Just wait for it. Now we can see where, where the other ones get added to the combat. They didn't. Okay, I cool. Will resist. Hey, she hit. It charges. Okay, he got crit, but survived. Uh, I, I'm... Oh, staggering critical. I think I would have made him stagger this turn. Just my uh, amazing knowledge there of what, what it might do. But, uh, yeah. That's, that's okay. One magic missile. Hit. Alright. Uh, Darren, heal. Okay. Hit. The Inheritor, guide my blade. Very good damage. Uh, buff, buff. Turn this on. Attack. Forwards. Very good. Attack. Retreat is not an option. Good. Force. Uh, stay where you are. Because otherwise you'd aggro the room. Herself. All misses. Alright, well that's annoying. Um shoot it. Mind over muscle. Shoot it. Out of my sight. And attack. And we attack. Nice crit. Uh we'll grab that and then we'll move our way along here for a second. Okay, so let's do some big heals to... Actually, yeah, let's do some big heals like this to you. And another one. And another one. You know what, I've realized something. I have a lot of potions that I never use. This is probably a more um, effective way of doing it. There we go. Just quick, uh, keep uh, chugging the potions. We're effectively just giving him like a small potion bath at this point. <laughs> Keep going. More of those, more of those, more of those, and last potion. Nice. Right, quick save. Now we're gonna try and do this. By your order. Oh, uh, I need to check something about last stand. Not that we we're probably gonna be able to use it effectively, but once per day. Okay. I just wanted to check um, how long that would last for. Right, so quick saved. Let's go. We can get ourselves a surprise round by attacking instead of doing whatever we did last time. Oh wait, do you have your buffs on? No, okay, well this seems like a good moment. There we go. Shoot. Ooh. Very nice damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, half HP after one turn is not bad. Let's go for that one and that one. We're just gonna move our way in here. Okay, that's fine. If we walk a little bit further. Yeah, there's the Shadow Demon. Right. Um, You're just gonna run in as far as you can, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, there's something on the ground there. We could use haste. Um, definitely could be good. Is there a way of using haste so it hits everybody? Sort of, but it wouldn't hit uh, us in the corner. I'll wait for everybody to get... Well... Nah, I'll just use it. That's fine. That's fine. Sila. Can't quite attack, although you could charge, I suppose. Yeah, why don't you charge the... Can you smite here? Yeah, smite. Charge. Very good. Okay. Horse. You can't charge in, but we want you to be standing next to that one. Okay. 
Gonna move Darren in that side here. And that's gonna be his turn. Right, our turn. Now if we attack, there is a chance that we lose our weapon. I'm gonna try it anyway. Uh, I also think that this might be a turn for sharing Judgment Aura. Let's go. Strike with all your might. Okay, we passed our saving reflex. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, we uh, passed our reflex saving throw. Uh, okay. That's really bad. Charge. Okay, Nanio. Step back. Um, you could just be like, try and kill it outright. No, try and kill this one. Oh! It failed the the will saving throw past the fortitude. I just want to see how close it was. DC 26. That's actually quite likely that we could have killed there. Yeah. Um... It was very. It was less likely that it would pass its uh, that it would fail its will saving throw though. Okay, good to know. Step back. I still think that this is the one I want to be targeting. Make your peace. Maybe I should have gone invisible with Nenio as well. All right. Your job is the Shadow Demon. You're already here. Might as well attack it. No glory without risk. Okay. Demo dance. The adhesion doesn't matter. Okay. Move in here. This is definitely a skeleton turn. Just to block the passage. Yeah, that works. Okay, our turn. Uh, attack it. Yeah. That's how you hit them. Hit Reg here. Not a huge fan. Use Dominate Person, which uh, Sila sa uh, saved the will save for. Oh, come on! Went straight for just absolutely destroying Reg. Uh, not a huge fan of that. Um, hmm. What have we got here that could be useful? Tar Pool? How big is it? That's a little bit big, huh? Same with this one? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for like a small thing. What about shout in this direction? Sure, shout. Okay, um, so that's been stunned, I think. And then the Minotaur uh, passed it, okay. So let me just double check that that one is, yes, that one is indeed stunned, fantastic. Um, good turn. Take a step back. You? I want to try and kill the Minotaur, and the reason I want to try and kill the Minotaur is because, although attacking the Marauder would be more useful, um, if I can kill the Minotaur, we can walk in and use Breath of Life on Reg, which is much better for us. I will resist! Come on. Oh, we're one off. Um... That's annoying. Attack. Right, take you. Horse, can you um, assist? Nice. Yes, yeah, so they're now attacking the Marauder. Now we're hoping that Darren can walk past the horse. Not necessarily the easiest thing in the world, but we'll see. So Reg is somewhere in here. <laughs> um, where's, where's our res? Uh, we have it, right? Yeah, there we go. Breath of Life. Reg. What? But he's not alive. I thought Breath of Life should heal. Oh, wait, no. It cures 5d8 plus 1 point per caster level. But he still needs to go above 0. Oh no, <laughs> we need to keep casting it. Okay, well that's not good. We can do it. All right, stubs its stun turn. Excuse me. I'm not really okay with that one. Uh, I'm gonna remove whatever you tried to do. If it even applied in the first place. There we go. 
Uh, you? Shoot the Marauder. Prepare yourself. Nice. Good damage. Sela. Charge over to the demon. Missed you to concealment. Nice. Attack this one. Okay, it's almost dead. Just need one skeleton to hit it. <laughs> I'm now, like, trying res. Uh... If the healed if the healed creature's hit point total is at a negative amount less than its constitution score, it comes back to life. Is that even possible? 5d8 plus one point per caster level. No, that is not possible right now. I might try it anyway. Do it. Just res him. Yeah, no, see that doesn't work. He he got so overkilled we can't even res him. Oh dear. Right, um... One of those? Perfect! Cast Confusion. Okay, that affected the horse and some of my uh, things. Uh, like, I think it affected some of the champions, right? Oh no, they're immune. Um, I think it affected the horse and Darren. Yeah, okay. Shoot. I'll remove this obstacle. Shoot. Oh, it had mirror image on? Oh, I didn't even know that. Well, we got it. Some more of the mirror images are being got. Right, attack. That's fine. Just killed one of the skeletons. Really not an issue. You're irrelevant. Hey, nice! She Death managed to hit! Guide my hand. I was just surprised. Right, attack. It teleports away again? <laughs> oh, no. Right, um... Main question now, though, is do I have a res? I don't have a resurrection spell, we have to reload, because there's no way of going and, get and resing. I think. Um... Do, do I have raised dead? Uh, I really need a sort here. Somewhere. There's Ray's Dead. I do have Scroll of Ray's Dead. Okay, we're fine then. No problem. I'm just gonna wait for Confusion to wear off. Who do I have control of? Everyone but Horse. Okay. Horse? Got control of everyone. Okay, cool. Um, you are going to use Ray's Dead. Uh, well, yeah, I'm just going to move that onto, like, there. Uh, and then you I are going to use... Ray Actually, I wonder. Wait a second. Let me undo whatever I just did there. So that was this one. If I do this, this will probably work, right? Yeah, there we go. Much easier way of doing things. Now, he does have some negative levels due to dying. You require my counsel. Yeah, you gonna move? There we go. He wasn't nice. being select. He wasn't selecting there. That's okay. Right. Uh, how many negative levels does he have? Two. Okay. Well, we can remove that. Um, restoration here. We'll get there in the end. Hey, he's back to normal now. He has no buffs, Decide. but he is back to normal. Fighting for a righteous cause is certainly different. Uh, I guess we give him some of these buffs. The former is more bloody and One of those. A little bless. Um, we can give him armor buffs as well. There we go. That's that's probably all he he needs. I would imagine we could give him a will buff, but I don't think we need to necessarily. Right. Should we proceed? Uh, he says, should we proceed while, like, you know, sitting with no HP? Alright, let's give him some more of these. Uh, I was actually looking at that thing. Is that even going up? No, it's just it's healing so little. There we go. These are a little bit more like it. Potential to heal a lot more. We are almost out of these, though. Okay, cool. That's better. Quick save. And now we can loot. 
Uh, everywhere there are signs of destruction, large and small. It kind of seems like that would be my fault. Right. Ooh, a new bow, potentially? It is... A speed composite longbow. Maybe a new bow. We'd need to compare it. It's not like a named bow. Oh, actually, we could compare it to Arushali. Yeah, there we go. What have we got? So, in trapping versus speed composite. What speed? Is that um, as if you have haste effect? Uh, yes, yes. So, you get an extra attack per round. Okay. That's pretty good. So... Uh, whenever it confirms a critical hit, all must have a reflex saving throw of DC 13 or become entangled. So its extra effect on the entrapping longbow effectively doesn't apply anymore because everyone has a high enough reflex saving throw to pass. Okay. Good aligned? Does That means it does extra damage, right? Or is that just for DR? That's just for DR. Okay. So effectively we've got just for DR, which we can ignore because we have... Um, uh, we have the thing that we have on us. Uh, for the something of the something something. The Covenant of the Inheritor. Yeah, so we can ignore that one. We can ignore the fa its bonus. So it's a composite enhancement plus one bow. While this is a composite enhancement plus three bow, which also gives you speed. Even without haste. Yeah, this seems like the better bow for us right now. Okay. Like, just straight up better. Because um, nobody's going to fail a reflex save at this point because, well, I mean, if we have a look at our own reflexes as an example, we have a plus 11, plus 13. Like, you're not going to fail a DC 13 save. Let us be off. Especially as the enemies tend to have higher ones. And it's only on a crit, which makes it even worse. Oh, okay. Just Let's a dead move. demon. And then some writing on the wall. Okay. Um. Right. Let's go in here. Hello. Incubus. Oh, there's something over here that we've discovered? Maybe this is where the shadow demon went? Oh, that's one of the doors we can't open, I think. Alright. Um. Attack. Make your peace. We will be victorious. Nice. Just straight up killed it. That's good. Run in. Okay, so we got an Omox here. I've never seen an Omox. What is one of those? Doesn't look that exciting. Magic one, I'm guessing? Demon of Slaughter? No. I have no idea what it is. Oh, Liquid Leap. Okay, I see. It jumps on you and then attacks you if it's slime. Okay, that makes sense. Um, you're going to head in just so you can actually see enemies. We'll give us one of these and one of these. Run in. What's that? Oh, a trap right in the corner. Well spotted. Horse can run in. Oh, it's got like some slime around it as well, I'm noticing here. Let's see if it does anything. Yeah, it slows you. Okay. What other effects did that do? Uh, doesn't look like it gave you any other effects. It looks like it's just a bad terrain thing. Okay. Get in here. Alright. It gets to go first. That didn't look very impressive to me. Attack the Incubus. Oh, we, we got slowed due to the difficult terrain. Okay, fair enough. Um, smite. We can't charge it. Uh oh, just get in there as much as you can. Yeah, a little bit further, if possible. Nope, that's as far as you can get. Okay, we'll move forward. And then maybe like one of these. Okay, it did some damage, I suppose. Uh, you're just gonna get in the room. And then uh, shoot that thing. Mainly because I don't know what it is and I know what the Incubus is. Incubus isn't scary. This one, I don't know what it is, so it could be scary, I suppose. Hey, we hit it. Nice. 
Good damage. It seems like this is just gonna die, which would be fine by me. Okay, maybe it does something really bad if it actually hits. Maybe that's the secret. Incubus is dead. Oh, Mox is dead. Okay. Who knows? It might just be that uh, negative... It might just be the difficult terrain thing it had there. Maybe that's the uh, only thing that it really does that's bad. Um, and it's more of a... It just holds you in place kind of thing. Uh, so other things can hit you. Anyway. Uh, let's have a look. The bodies in the murky liquid are likely remnants of unsuccessful experiments. Or of failed attempts to save them. Okay. Open up this door. Seeing where we are. Okay. Take a step back. You call? Stealth. Yeah, I just want you to disable the trap, really. Oh, it's actually in here. Oh, that's fine then. Yep, perfect. Unstealth. So now we want to position ourselves going into this room. Quick save. Let's go. March on. I sense something. Ooh. Loot. A hat. The Helmet of Camaraderie. The wearer of this helmet gains a plus one morale bonus to AC, but no more than plus three for each ally in a ten foot radius. Um, that's kind of cool. What's our helmet? AC against undead. Yours is charisma. Okay. You don't. Ha you have a hat on right now. You have alluring charisma. Yeah, we could probably give you like some. Well, although it does actually affect you for your dazzling display. Maybe this is a hat for us. This might be our hat. Yep. Wait, was our other hat not even showing up? Yeah, it wasn't showing up. Oh, okay. There we go. It's got a little um, tin can hat. Uh, and I guess anyone who doesn't have a hat can... Well, nobody else doesn't have a hat. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. We'll just leave that one there. Um, quick save. So we now get extra AC if there are people around us. So does that immediately apply? Uh, oh, wait. We have the helmet and the chainmail of camaraderie? Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah. So, the helmet is currently giving us nothing? Yeah. Why is the helmet giving us nothing? Um, that helmet should be giving us a plus three, right? Yeah, that helmet should be giving us plus... Let me take it off and see what happens. Yeah, it's giving us nothing. It might only apply in combat. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look. Hmm. Interesting, though. Let me, double, let me read it again. Oh, no, there we go. It's applied. It just needed us to move, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, plus three morale. Well, there we go. Answers my question pretty well. I must part with everything demonic in me. But Desna, please allow me to keep my lovely, irresistibly beautiful wings. <laughs> I shall not be swayed from my path. Along here. There we go. Right. Disarm. To finish here. Is there more? Right. Deselect. Oh, move in here. Open. Alright, so this moves us up to a door. Okay, looks like this is a fairly significant uh, door, potentially. It's a locked door. Pick it. I'm glad I was useful to you. Oh. Quick save. Let me inspect. Expand. I'll also pause the game here, just in case. Unholy Aura. Um, grants them resistance to spells cast by good creatures and weakens good creatures when they strike the subjects. Okay, it's false life greater, true seeing, power attack. Uh, it's immune to dominate, it's immune to electricity. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't look that bad, potentially. I mean, it has a lot of things on it, but it doesn't look that bad. It is a level um, 18.35 creature. What's its AC? 35. 
Okay. I think we might be able to take it. Let's quick save. I mean, the Vrooks at the side, like, literally are nothing. <laughs> so, we check some things here before we deal in. I'll make my own we do have this applied. That's fine. Together, um, smile. The world's never not ending just do you still yet. have your buffs on? You have some of them. You don't have this one on? Uh, wait, how long did this have left? Three minutes? So you should have that one on. Cat's Grace. Oh, there you go. Aspect of the Falcon. It's still on. Okay, that's fine. In which case, um, I want you to start by making it your quarry. So that no, that doesn't give us the free action. Uh, sorry, that still gives us the surprise round, but it doesn't give her like the free attacks. However, it does mean that we used a half round um, to do that action instead of like having to have our whole turn be used to do that action effectively. Anyway, let's go for protection. Maybe saving throws. Um, then we'll move ourselves. We could summon actually on this turn, I suppose. Yeah, let's um, let's just straight up summon. There we go. Reg. Um, now this thing is chaotic, I think. Yes. Okay. So we'll smite it. Um. Then aura of the god claw. You here? You are gonna use a mark of justice and charge. We might get hit by these things. We didn't. That's okay. Right. Now, it may have looked like we did no damage, but we know we, it has false life greater. So that's okay. We have no hastes left. Um, I, think I might just have to run you up as far as you can go. Yeah. I think that's the play. Darren. Um, you're going to move... Well, I guess I could s summon a bunch of things, actually. Yeah, let's summon a bunch here. Okay. Just a bunch of things to uh, potentially take damage instead of us. You charge in. No. Alright, we'll just run in. Okay. Whoa! What is that? <laughs> Coloxus um, Defiler. Okay, as Piranha Strike. So it's like a... Um, yeah, it's sneak attack. It's a rogue, effectively. A magic rogue. Okay. What did it just cast on us? Mind fog. Can I see it on its list? No, I need to go back in here to figure out what mind fog does. Um, animate dead. Mind fog. Okay. Produces a think uh, a bank of think of thin mist that weakens the mental resistance of those caught in it. Creatures in the mind fog take a minus ten penalty to wisdom checks and will saves. Um. Okay, that's fine. So it doesn't do anything necessarily in of itself. It just makes us more susceptible to things. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. I could try and shoot this. Just try and kill it. That seems like not a bad idea. Okay. It attacked a Vrook. Did one damage. Wonderful. Uh, this is definitely... I think we have to walk into the fog, unfortunately. Share our judgment aura. So that gives us the saving throws and everything. Maybe force reality. I did see a mirror image pop up. Yeah, we got rid of that one. That's fine. Um... You're going to run in if you can. I guess if you can only make it part part of the way in, we want to summon our wolf. Okay. We can, because it takes a full turn. Alright, we'll just get right in there this then. One's mine. Sila? Um, attack. Yeah. Oh, that was good damage. Okay. Just cast a bunch of things. Unholy Nimbus. Um, one round later, light burst in a 60 foot radius. Any non demon creature caught within it must succeed on a DC 22 will save or be dazed for 1d10 rounds. Wow. 
Okay. Hate that. Um. Well. I'm gonna try casting. Uh, one of those. Well, bunch of no damages, and then uh, it just did no damage. Wait, are they were all immune to electricity? Like all of them? Okay, well that's fine. Whatever. I knew that the big guy was, but I guess I should have known the rooks were. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Skeletal champions doing their best. Hey, they're actually hurting the rooks. Not bad. Okay. Uh, your plan here. Um, I don't know what your plan here is, to be honest. Could cast spell resistance on someone, which would give us the resistance to a lot of stuff that's about to happen. Uh, but only one person. I think if there's anything better for him to do, maybe just summon. Maybe just a large summon. Maybe a large fire elemental. Oh, he had to move for that. Mm, okay, how about one of these? Tankard of Free Spirit? Um, okay, um, I guess just, like, end your turn. Uh, that's fine. I can do this? Okay. That doesn't seem like that's right, but okay. Song of Discord, we've had a bunch of saving throws. Spores hit. Okay. Uh, I really want to shoot this guy. Prepare yourself! <laughs> Hey, I was hoping for more damage though. Axiomites out. Okay. Um, your turn. <laughs> what are we doing on your turn? Uh, I, I don't know what we're doing on your turn. To be honest, it doesn't. I don't really have an option that seems great here. Right now. Maybe I'll do this because it's a swift. It's a free action even. I should do that just in general. Um. I should try one of these because it's a swift action. Uh, yes. Okay. We overcame the spell resistance. Did that apply? Did that do anything? Um, yes, that did knock that one out for the next turn. Nice. Um, now we got a few more things we could do. We could attack the boss, I suppose. Let's do that. Didn't do anything. Okay, Reg, boss. Press the attack. Very nice damage. He is taking damage back, but he did also kill it before it exploded and dazed us for 10 rounds. Very uh, big fan of that. Skeletons are taking fur of the brooks. Or of that one, anyway. Okay. Move in. Heal. Force, attack. Didn't do anything. It's now attacking my horse and lowering its charisma. That's fine. Not doing a lot of damage. Okay, keep shooting it. It's the most dangerous thing left. Okay. Damage still going on to it. Could move you up here. This might seem like the best plan, I think. Okay. Oh, it's back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you are going to attack uh, this one. Retreat is not an option. Sila. Uh, that one. Just kill it. Okay, Nenio. Uh, I don't know. What, what do you want to do here? Maybe try like an acid arrow. Well, how do you feel about acid first of all? Energy resistance a 10 on it. Uh, sure, let's try it. We missed anyway, by a long margin. I forgot we actually have to hit on that one. Champion's now moving to attack the other one of these. Darren, you're going to move into the center. Then you're going to cast heal. There we go. Attack. It's still attacking our horse. We're still attacking it. Doing the odd bit of damage every now and then. 
Okay. Um, fail to overcome the spell resistance of the Vrook. I don't know why you were trying to hit it like that, but that's okay. Double miss. A bunch of our skeletons just died. That's okay, though. Uh, attack. Kneel before me. Cool. So now it's just us versus the Defiler. Uh, smite it. And attack it. No glory without risk. Okay. Uh, I might just you shoot it. We're going to do nothing. We might as well just do it that way. Uh, Darren. Might do another heal. Okay. Horse. I think it just killed our champ, skeletal champion. That's okay. Right, keep shooting. We're getting there. Um. Wait, what? Uh. Oh, it was trying to hit it, but then it saved its will saving throw. That's fine. We won't falter. Not nothing weird going on there. This one's mine. Hey, at least we did damage. The There's some blade. good damage. Right, keep shooting. And keep shooting. I will see to your demise. Horse. Attacking Regil. Not my favorite thing, but that's okay. I will resist. Did some damage to it. Still trying to hold monster. Still failing. Press the attack! We got it. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Run. This will all disappear in a second, I'm sure. When this becomes friendly, I will use my Bless to remove the Vrook stuff. However, I need to wait. Horse is friendly again. Missed me already. Wonderful. Right, that removes Let the Vrook stuff. We can now loot. Okay, we got some things there. Uh, so our only real thing in this room was the XP, I think. It was like a thousand XP for killing it, but still. Well, I was expecting like another reward maybe, but no, that was it. Okay, um, move off here. Can we rest here? Yes, if I find the right pixel. Let's rest here. We're, we're kind of at the edge of uh, what we can actually manage with our current group. So, let's do that. Mauled wine still seems like a good thing to make if we can do it. Yeah, all of this seems fine, I think. Let's just rest. I'm watching you, Nenio. When you make one wrong move, I'll be right there to see it. Just know that I've got my eye on you. Always. Well then, you can swat the flies away while I sleep. <laughs> Corruption and nightmares. Nightmares and corruption prevent you from resting well. Corruption increases during rest at different rates in different areas. When your corruption reaches the first, second, or third level, various negative effects are applied. So this is the first time we've ever had corruption? Uh, like, above level one? Okay. Um, there are three corruption levels in total. The higher your, the level, the more difficult it becomes to fight your battles. The character is assigned to the protective rituals role, performs these rituals before the party goes to sleep, which reduces the corruption gain. Okay. You can fully remove corruption in safe places. You will discover these areas of respite as you progress through the game. In some locations, you may come across various holy artifacts. Cleansing them, or interacting with them, will allow you to partially remove your corruption level. I also love that it's showing the Lost Chapel here in a tutorial that you could have got way earlier. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Anyway. Also, the double pet build they got going on here. Something weird's happening. Right, uh, we will close that. Okay, so what does level 1 do? 15% arcane spell failure chance. Sorry, Nenio, you're now more useless than you were. Um, minus 2 penalty to wisdom and intelligence mod uh, scores. Sorry, Nenio, you're now, you're now, again, yeah, not great. And minus 3 penalty to CMD and CMB. Okay, so that's fairly bad. We did have to rest, though. So is that corruption? Yeah, okay. I have to this try this. I have path. to try... Just just because I'm curious, right? Doesn't remove corruption. Okay. I, I thought I'd try. You know? Because it's a buff, I thought I'd try. Let's do some buffing. Right. 
So first of all, how about Owl's Wisdom to uh, negate that negative two wisdom modifier? Followed by Bless. Oh, also, we now have Last Stand back on Wretch, so he's a little less uh, dangerous than he was before. Right, one on yourself. One over here. One here. One here. And one for the horse. Right. Um, now we want to cast these, so one for you. One for you. Uh, one for you. One for the horse. One of these for you. One of these for Sila. Right, strength buff for yourself. For you. For you. And for you. I'll then do some of these buffs as well. Another aid buff. Another aid buff. Um, did I give one to you? No, I probably should. Yeah, there we go. Anything else? Oh yeah, Crusader's Edge. Like, mandatory in this area. It's so good. One for you. One for the horse. Right, anything else we need to apply? Probably like, uh, I don't know, fire seems good. Acid was good. I might keep the last one, actually. Um, resist Acid actually seems like the best one. Just because a lot of them have, a, like, an Acid return attack. Or, like, a damage back. Um, the rest of that we don't need to worry about. Okay, you're buffed. We will win this, war. this one should be good. Uh, the rest of them we don't need to worry about. Um, Please, actually, you have a resist. Is this? It's ten minutes. Yeah, so that would not uh, that would not go to twenty four hours until we get your next level. You require my unbiased opinion. Okay. You called. Oh, the waiting's now. So this is fine. Yeah, I think I think we're fine now. Oh, uh, this as well. Cool. Quick save, and then I think it's time for Let's us move. to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. This is a massive dungeon. I'm loving it. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.